apologize that I'm using the microphone and uh, I'm going to have to whisper because I'm making a tutorial about green screens at two in the morning. Uh, I've, 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 because I'm trying to make it concise, uh, but uh, I've also got to make it quiet because I've got neighbors upstairs and downstairs and they don't know I'm a thespian. It's Thursday. I'm wearing a derby, so it's Theater Thursday. My name is Marga Gomez, and uh, I try every Thursday to drop a tutorial on YouTube for performers who want to take their shows and put them online for audiences who want to appreciate what online performers go through, particularly solo theater performers. Um, if you enjoy it, well, you could drop me a buck or two on Venmo, Venmo at Marga Gomez. Um, so what I want to uh, tell you about is um, this lovely, uh, lovely hack called the green screen. Um, when you're doing a solo performance, it's just you and it's the words and, and the story is everything. Also, sometimes it's good to have a microphone, uh, but I never have it in. You don't see the microphone. I have them hidden. That's a whole different tutorial. But for now, I'm just saying the words are the most important part. But you know, these shows are about an hour long sometimes. We try to actually shorten them for, uh, for online, but I'd say about an hour. Mine are an hour and five. Okay, an hour and five. But, you know, there's laughs. No, there aren't. It's online anyways. Well, all I'm saying is that I add visual enhancements to my shows when I can because a lot of them are biographical stories. So there are actual places and actual people in my story. And I have photos of the people and I have photos, images of places that I love very much. I use a software program called Ecamm. So I'm able to um, put those photos into the software, into my computer, which is hooked up to my camera, which is hooked up to my microphone. Uh, and, uh, and, 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 and there you have it. There is the show. Uh, different elements, visual, sometimes a little music. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, maybe let's go to the park. And how do I change these scenes? Well, I don't do it discreetly. I have all I need on my phone. It's an app called Stream Deck Mobile. Now, there's actual hardware console you could buy that stream deck but solo performers we can't be tied down we don't want to keep going back to the computer we want to move around we want to change things right so we use the software again a couple of microphones so the sound is consistent and without this software right without this software then i would just have a green screen uh now, there's all different kinds of green screens. They have to be certain shades of green. But uh, this is photography paper, uh, a particular shade called Stinger. And the people at the theatrical supply place uh, advised me to get this. It was like the last roll of green paper in the first month of the pandemic. All kinds of gear was, you know, either uh, gouged in price or just I didn't exist. You know, it should be as flush to the wall, wrinkle-free uh, <coughs> as possible. And then it has to be lit. So uh, I can't show you this, but like right here, right there. And then on the other side, I have two light boxes, soft boxes. Uh, soft boxes. Google that. I can't tell you everything. I'm trying to make this one short. Um, and that lights the screen separately. That light doesn't go on me. The light that goes on me is the light that I've hooked up there, which is a video light. Can't really get the best lighting out of lamps at home. It has to be a Kelvin light. Again, that's another tutorial. You need to have the lights. You need to be about at least three feet in front of the green screen. So to look right, uh, more if you can. And then the lights about three feet pointing at the screen. Does that make sense? Are you ready to like make some amazing images behind you as you perform? I hope so. But I am happy to answer all your questions. Just leave them in the chat. 
Ask me about green screens. Ask me anything. Again, I have live streamed four one-person shows, and I've tried to use every trick in the book to make them engaging to the audience. But the most important thing is good sound. And really, really, almost in a tie for good sound is a great story to tell. And then there's a whole bunch of other things that would just cost money, and I'll tell you more about that later. I'm interrupting my own tutorial. I'm at the automat, as you can see, the virtual automat, and I realized, oh my gosh, I didn't tell you that I teach solo performance actual online classes, one-on-one -on -one coaching or groups. And you just need to go to my website, marcagomez.com, if you'd like to find out more information. I can tell you right now, my rates are probably the best in this field. And I have done 13 one-person shows, and I've adapted four to online viewing. So just go to my website, marcagomez.com, if you would just like to get started as a solo performer, if you're a solo performer who has a play, and you want to know how to adapt it to Zoom. All right? I got you. I got you. Let's go back to the tutorial. As I said, um, there's different ways to uh, create your green screen setup. Uh, and there's a lot of them on sale uh, online. You can just buy a green screen and some of them are quite expensive and they have a whole apparatus and, you know, I don't know. But there's this one uh, green screen that is, it's just kind of the right size. Even for a one person show, it's like, it's kind of like as wide as my arms and you can sort of make do with that. But I read the reviews, a lot of people complaining. A lot of people like thought, oh yeah, it looks good. But then they tried to fold it back. It was like this portable green screen and it wouldn't fold, it wouldn't fold. And people were just, they were, they were acting like they had like, I mean, we're in a pandemic. There are real big problems. But so I have a friend, uh, a theater colleague uh, who runs a series called Solo Sundays now on hiatus through uh, one of my favorite theater stage works, which is, uh, you know, shut until we can open, which has a GoFundMe. Uh, you might want to uh, check them out if you, if you know the wonderful Ty McKenzie who runs it. Well, Ty and Bruce made a tutorial uh, at my request. After he told me how good he was at this, I says, well, you know what? There is no video that shows you how to do it. You do it, and it'll go viral. And so this is just like, it's fresh. He's just made it. And uh, we're going to drop it here at the end of my tutorial. It's how to fold that fucking Amazon green screen. Packman, today we're going to learn how to open and close a green screen. This green screen? That's the one. Okay. Okay. First, take it out of its packaging. You want to be careful when you open the green screen that nobody's in front of you. No kids, no grandma's vase, no furniture, because it tends to spring open and you never know where it's going to go. So crack that puppy open, Bruce. Smooth. Now we're going to show you how to close the green screen. Grab the frame from both sides as far as you can and pull it together like a taco. Bring the bottom towards you and step on it with your left foot. Now bend down, having your left hand flip around and pulling it down while the right hand covers the left. There you go. Wow, you made that look so easy, Bruce. Thanks, Ty. Ty, what are we going to do next? Next, we're going to learn how to build a submarine. <laughs> 